tacos, nachos, hamburgers, let's eat. Pasta with prosciutto, snap peas, and cream. This is just a sampling of the things you'll cook to eat. Cooking with the Smiths is fun, and hey, guess what? It's free. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Cooking with the Smiths. Uh, today, we are going to be making rustic rigatoni. Uh, show you a quick picture of it. There we go. Rustic rigatoni. And with this recipe, we are going to need several ingredients. I'll turn the camera on and show you guys. And then I will turn it back around and we'll get everything started. Um, so bear with me and we will show you what we're cooking with alrighty then so starting from this end we are going to utilize some pine nuts about a fourth cup and we're going to end up using a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper to be honest we'll probably go with a full teaspoon two tablespoons of olive oil one tablespoon uh, each time, a little earlier in the recipe, a little later. Then we're going to end up using uh, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We're going to have three fourths teaspoon of salt. We are going to also use one cup of crumpled feta cheese. We will have a half of a thinly sliced medium red onion. We are going to use 10 sun-dried tomatoes and we're going to chop them up. And then we're going to of course need the rigatoni and something that is probably one of the best ingredients here. We've got six large basil leaves. We're going to slice those crosswise into thin strips and then we're going to save the extra for garnish. And uh, let me tell you, that smells really good because it came fresh out of our garden. So there you have it. Those are our ingredients. I'm going to turn the camera back around and we will get to cooking. Okay, guys. So while the water in our pot, you're going to need two things, a pot and a skillet. Uh, I'm going to be actually using our wok, uh, the Calphalon wok that I got instead of a regular skillet. Uh, so it's a little easier to kind of stir around the ingredients when we're ready. Uh, you'll see why when it gets to that point. But while the water is boiling, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and chop up our half of a thinly sliced onion. So, first things first, I'm just going to take the ends off that have all of the nasty guck on them. And then I will chop this in half. And that way when I cut it, it's already got the halves that we need. So I've got it cut in half. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little outer layer off with all the Skin. Take the other half and put it aside. And we are going to thinly chop this onion. So set it down here and just start doing some slicing. I'm going to make it thinner. There we go. A little thinner. This knife kind of slips to the side a little bit. All right. And that way when you actually put it in with the pasta, they're not full rings. They're kind of split aside. And they uh, cover a little bit more. And I'll show you what they look like afterwards. but. Sure, you guys out there already know what sliced onions look like, but I'll show you before I put them in. Let me get rid of these little shavings here, real quick. All right. 
So, here we go, just thinly sliced little onions. They come apart in the little pieces like that. So I've got that set there. The water is now beginning to boil. So while that's doing that, we're going to take 12 ounces of rigatoni. Now this is a 16 ounce box. 16 ounce box. So I'm going to dump some of it in there and then save a little bit. And for those of you who don't know, uh, rigatoni is just a big round noodle, like a macaroni noodle. But uh, that should be about 12, 12 uh, ounces. So they're in there now. It's going to start boiling. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, skillet with the ingredients. Okay, so bear with me a moment. All right, so first we're going to do one tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet. It's already preheating, so we're going to just dump this tablespoon in. There we go. And we're going to add the onion. And we're going to saute it over medium heat until the onions are tender and fragrant. It's about uh, roughly three minutes or so. So let me get these dumped in here. There we go. Stir it around, break up some of these onions so that they're not all smashed together. Nothing would be worse in this pasta dish than getting like a mouthful <laughs> of onions that were all together. I mean, onions are good. I like onions and stuff, but I think you know there's a there's a limit. <laughs> I think a big chunk of onion in the mouth at one time would definitely be that limit. So, get this. You can hear it sizzling a little bit. Oh, here's a little piece of that onion skin. Pull it aside. Mmm. So, have you guys out there, have you had uh, rigatoni before? Have you uh, either out at a restaurant or have you made it yourself? I'd be interested in hearing about it. Uh, just leave comments down below. Uh, let me know also if you guys have been trying some of these uh, recipes that we've been showcasing on our Cooking with the Smiths. And if you have been uh, trying some on your own, what have you thought of them? Have, have they worked out nicely for you? Or you know, were they something that you thought were going to be good but then just didn't turn out to be your cup of tea. Um, be interested to, to find that out. So leave, them, leave that in the comments down below. Now after we get these um, onions done for about three minutes, we're going to add the salt, the balsamic vinegar, sun-dried tomatoes, and the crushed red pepper and pine nuts. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and call out 10 of these tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to quickly give them some chops. There we go. And let me finish this up real quick. And I will be right back. All right, everybody. So I got the tomatoes diced and are chopped and the um, basil uh, cut into thin strips. So I'm going to go ahead now and add these ingredients to the onions that we've had cooking. They should be about ready. There we go. So <clears throat> while that's doing that, let's go ahead and add the salt. Like I said, we need about three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. 
So I'm just going to measure some in here. I don't want a full teaspoon, just three-fourths. So that right there should about do it. So we'll go ahead and just sprinkle that in. <coughs> we're going to add the balsamic vinegar. With the balsamic vinegar, we're going to use two tablespoons of it. So here we go. We've got one and two. Oh, that's starting to bubble, starting to be good. We're going to add these uh, uh, the sun-dried tomatoes now to it. Oh, there we are. And we're going to add crushed red pepper and the pine nuts. So with the crushed red pepper, like I said, we were going to be looking at a half a teaspoon. I think I'm going to actually use just a full teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. There we are. All right. And the pine nuts, which we're looking at a fourth of a cup of pine nuts. Pine nuts. So. Get it all stirred together. Oh, mm, just the smell that's starting to come off it already. Getting it all nice and mixed together. I'll tell you what, before I add some of the other stuff to this, like the pasta and then the um, basil over the top, I'll go ahead and show you guys mm, how this is looking. Very nice. Move this down. Oof, to medium, low heat. Yep. And you want to get it about four minutes to cook on a medium, low heat. So, while that is cooking low for about four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and just let you guys take a quick look at this so far. One second. Okay, so there you have the onions, the pine nuts, the balsamic vinegar and salt. You have the sun-dried tomatoes and you have the crushed red pepper. Mmm. All nice and ready for the pasta and the basil to be added. So give it a few more minutes. I'll throw in the pasta that is boiling. You want it to be al dente. And then after we throw in the pasta and stir it for about one minute, then we're going to transfer it into a large serving bowl. And we're going to toss in the feta and the basil, remaining in olive oil. So uh, we will return. All right, so the pasta is ready to be drained. So let me get that done, and then we'll throw it in the pot. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Read me the Ooh, smelling good, looking good. All right. So, got the pasta here, all nice and drained. See it all. I don't know if you can see it yet. There you go, some steam coming up off it. So, let's go ahead and toss it into this skillet. We're going to cook that for about... <clears throat> A minute but while we're doing that we're gonna go ahead and toss in this feta cheese and then the basil 
after this is cooked. I'm going to stir this up, get it nice and mixed, mixed real well. We're going to end up transferring all of this to a bowl where we'll put the uh, feta cheese on and the basil. And, ooh, very, very good. Remaining olive oil. And then you want to serve this, once it's done, you want to serve this up immediately. So we'll get it into a bowl and then we'll have Carrie come in, we'll give it a quick taste, make sure everything came out okay. Oh, that's looking good. Looking tasty. So, let's get a big bowl to put it in. So that I can flip it around. Actually, I have an even better idea. We have a bowl with a lid on it that I can actually put the pasta in and then flip it upside down and move it around and get it all nice and tossed in. It's a good thing we got these bowls. There we are. That is about a minute. So it should be ready to transfer over to this mixing bowl. Ooh. And the thing I like about this Teflon or this Calphalon, it's not Teflon, Calphalon, is that nothing sticks into this at all. I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. So get that turned off. Let's throw the cheese, the feta in it. We're going to toss some of the basil in it because I want to leave some of it to throw along the top after I put it in the bowls. So we'll put some of this basil in here. Make sure that these strands are getting separated. There we go. And oh goodness. Yes. Yes. I want to make sure those chili flakes go in there. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want the remaining olive oil, which is another um, tablespoon of it. And we're going to pour that just right around on the top there. Oh, it's looking delicious. Put the lid on here real quick. Shake, shake, shake. served up. There we go. Oh, luscious, luscious meal. This is looking mighty tasty. Oh, yeah. Get this spooned out. Oh, I wish you guys were here. If you guys were here, I would definitely, definitely share some of this with you. Mmm. Looking good. So, we, uh, you may have seen it on some of our other videos, we went and saw Age of Ultron yes, yesterday, I believe. And uh, it was a really good movie. Um, it really makes me excited to see what the future holds for the Marvel Universe. Um, if you guys have seen it, uh, take a look at that review. Let us know what you think. We would really appreciate that. And uh, what your favorite part is. Who your, who your favorite character in it was. Oh, 
I'm just going to town with this stuff. Um, hmm, there we go. So I'm going to put this over here. Throw a couple little things of uh, garnish on it. And then I will turn this around and show you guys what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. And then uh, yesterday, after we went to see Age of Ultron, we went to Olive Garden, and I had a nice tasty dish there, but um, just something about having this cooked at home or having something like this cooked at home, it just, just makes all the difference. So I'm going to turn this around, show you guys, and Carol will be in here to take the first taste. Here we are. Carrie is going to take the first bite and let us know how it came out. It tastes wonderful. So good. <laughs> is it spicy? Yeah, the the chili flakes. Chili flakes. Um, the pinon. They call them pine nuts. We call them pinon here in New Mexico. Good, yummy, everything tastes wonderful, honey. Thank you. <laughs> so there we go, guys. We have our finished rustic rigatoni. And we hope you enjoyed this installment of A Very Merry Unboxing. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Cooking with the Smiths. Uh, yes, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> cooking with the Smiths. Like, subscribe, uh, share us any way you can through Facebook, Google uh, Plus, or through Twitter. And as always, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.